Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bronx Lock Picker 60 and this morning I have a challenge locking device that came in uh, and was sent to me by uh, Jason Carlson he came in with this beautiful pick along with another one and a bunch of challenge locks uh, I reached in there I guess a few minutes ago into the box and reached in there and pulled whatever uh, lock I had in my hand at the time and I'll attempt to pick it. So that's what we have. What we have here is Chatterbox and December 2nd, 2018 by Math G. I believe he goes by Chewer. Uh, is the bidding pretty darn smooth too? Pretty smooth. Uh, if anyone is wondering, it's about ten of three a.m. Can't sleep, so I figured, hey, I got all these locks. Let me, <laughs> let me <laughs> attempt to try to go through them, so. Try to keep my voice down, just, you know, obviously everyone's asleep. Oh, so, I'm going to use this beautiful pick. And 50,000 type of keyway pry bar. And, let's see. Oops. Ding dong, come on. Hopefully... Cool. I'm saying hopefully my hands are not too much in the way. Okay. Huh? What? Alright. That's way too quick. I just got my pin in, or my pick in, and picked the pin five, I believe. It opened up, so let's redo it. And if it opens up that quick again, then I'm taking it. Okay. So I'm going to the rear. I went to the rear. And uh, set pin number five, and she opened. Huh. That's strange. That is really strange. Uh, well, I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to set my uh, device out of the way. We're going to open this baby up and see exactly how strange it is. Yes, that is weird. Really, really weird. <laughs> no lock should open that quick. <clears throat> I'm going to slide over. Sorry. Um, what we got here? I guess I can lock it. It has a brass ring, but it has a spot. That's like a nipple. Let me show you real quick. See that? You got that little nipple. And to put it in correctly, you stick that nipple into that hole. And it holds it. Okay. Yeah, I'm still uh, a little shocked about that. About how fast that opened. Not just once, but twice. Alright, there we go. Okay. Put 
I'm out of, out of frame here. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot to say this, but I hope everyone is well. Works fine. Yeah. Get my pointer. Okay, looks like uh, five is threaded, and you can see that pin sits all the way down there. I mean, they all need it to be picked, including uh, one and three. One, three, and four. Okay. This is so short. I mean, not so long. Okay. Right. I'm stretching here. Regular key pin with a, you know, I don't know if you want to consider that a wafer or not, but we'll see. See what's in the other one. See what's on top. And double serrated. Maybe double spool. I'll take a closer look at the, uh, yeah. I believe these are, uh, I hope these are not the driver pins coming out with the key pin. And standard. Hmm. That way, uh, spool with a serration. Okay. All right. So one, one, two, three, and five threaded. And nothing done to four. Smooth as a baby's butt. Sit you right there. <clears throat> okay. Go like this. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what the magic is up here. Right. Over. All right. Holy sheep shit. It's all kinds of uh, wait a minute. Yep. All kinds of spool action on that. Come on. Steel spring. Standard. Oh no, it's not. No, I'll show you at the end. Show you at the end. Right. Come on, baby. Get you there. Three. Yeah, you tricky little guy. Okay. Let's just get to over here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Start making more and more videos. Yes. I'm like all over the place with the camera. Cinco. Okay. And four. Come on. Bible was clean. Got a here. Right, let's get just closer. Down. And a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Position number one. It's a uh, standard uh, key pen with a thick wafer and this beauty right here not spool with a serration and reduce top reduce top all kinds of action there steel spring <clears throat> Sure. Oh, I'm so sad, baby. Key pin two. Double serrated. And <clears throat> excuse me. They are. Uh, they they do have some sharp edges. Homemade mushroom pin. That's very very nice work on that. Very nice work. Copper. And again. And again, three is standard with a wafer. Oh, uh, that's a uh, homemade uh, barrel or spool. Uh, thin on the bottom and a little thick on the top. And the way I have these oriented on the uh, tray, that's how they would interact in the uh, lock. If you're wondering. Copper. This is pretty cool, too. That had to be done with a razor blade. A bunch. Uh, one, two, three, about seven or eight serrations in that puppy. And a pellet round. Look like the ones from Sparrows. But I'm not saying that it couldn't have been made by uh by Matt. Copper Spring. Uh, five. Double serration. Come on. Let's go like that. Come on, baby. Yeah. These are made from sparrows. This is a, uh, a round as well. Okay. Like that. Steel spring. <clears throat> and that's what we have for you today. Uh, for me getting into it so quickly twice, <laughs> I'm up to 14 minutes and uh, 40 seconds. So I kept fumbling everything there. But enough excuses, so that's what we have here. Chatter, Chatterbox by Matt G. All right, everyone, thank you. Be safe, be legal. As always, stay calm and pick on.
And Jason, thanks so much for this package, my man. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.